Hello, West Middle students and families, and welcome to our 2020 eighth grade promotion. Thank you to all our parents, grandparents, aunts, and uncles viewing this most unusual promotion ceremony. I think it's important at this time to say just how grateful West Middle is of our partnership with our families over the past three years, but particularly the past two months. Your positivity, encouragement, and commitment has been instrumental in helping your students get to this point. And without you, we could not have accomplished all that we were able to at West Middle. To my eighth grade, I want you to know that if at this time you're a little disappointed that we're not able to meet together to hold our ceremonies, you're not alone. There's more than a portion of my heart that is sad not to get to see you face to face, shake your hands, and tell you just how much I appreciate you. As I thought about it, I realized that part of the reason I feel disappointed is because it's so important to me that you all are celebrated. This online promotion has been planned out with you and your family in mind. We want you to be celebrated. We have printed programs for you and your family to keep. We purchased t-shirts for each of you and your teachers so that we could together have a keepsake of this meaningful year. And we're planning a drive through celebration on May 21st from 4 to 5.30 so that you can be, receive your programs, certificates, t-shirts, and other recognitions. So please, see this ceremony as what it is intended to be. A celebration of the class of 2024 with all of your accomplishments, growth, memories, impact, and personality. From your amazing teachers, counselors, and administration, congratulations. We love you and we're thrilled that we're all on the same team. To get us started, Mr. Simpson will present this year's Influential Educator Award. Mr. Simpson. Hello, Cole family. West Middle has made a promise that we will equip every child every day by maximizing their potential through lifelong learning and full engagement. The faculty and staff, food service workers, custodial staff, and transportation employees work daily to create an environment that ensures that our young people are educated and prepared to engage in the real world. In order for our American democracy to thrive, an educated electorate is required, and our employees take that responsibility very seriously. Outside of parents, teachers and those connected to the school system are positioned to make the single greatest impact on the next generation of young people. West Jessamine Middle School has some of the most dedicated professionals in the business and they rise to the occasion and make that impact every single day. Our 8th grade English teachers have organized the Influential Educator Award to recognize educators for their hard work and dedication toward our most prized customer, our students. It is designed to recognize anyone who has played a role in the lives of 8th grade students throughout their three years at West Middle. Nominations were conducted as a writing assignment through those English classes, and students included and the different nominees. Nominees were from teachers, bus drivers, coaches, custodians, instructional aides, and of course, secretarial staff. Such a wide range of nominees for this award is a great indication of the number of people who are making a positive impact on the lives of our students. A committee read the nominations and one person was chosen as our 2020 Influential Educator. The recipient of this award had the following things written about her. She is such a role model to me and many other people. She is always checking on her students to make classes fun. She always has a smile and she makes everyone comfortable in her classroom. Another student said, there is not one day that I don't want to go to her class. And there is also not one day that I don't laugh in her classroom. The student went on to say, she has taught me how to be a better person. She has taught me many life lessons. This teacher is concerned with teaching the whole child. A student noted, I have seen her talk to students about family matters, mental health, and the things that they care most about outside of school. A final student said, she is an unpredictable woman who lit up my year. And on a personal note, I completely admire this teacher's grit and resilience. All of these comments are a testimony to this great teacher's impact, and it is my honor to present the 2020 Influential Educator Award to Miss 
Angie Lewis. Hey guys. Well, I have to say that when Mr. Simpson called me last week and told me that I had been named the most influential educator of the year, and it was given to me by the students, I was absolutely speechless. And if you know me, that doesn't happen very often. Um, I do wanna say that this has been a phenomenal group of kids to work with this year, along with the adults. And, um, you know, I know every day people don't wanna to come to work every single day. Maybe you're, you know, feeling tired or stressed out or whatever the case may be. But one thing about me is when I got to work, seeing the kids' faces and talking to you guys every day and working with the best people I could possibly work with on a daily basis, all made my day just so much brighter and I, I loved every day and cherished it. And I'm sorry that it got cut short and I look forward to seeing everybody in the future. Thanks. I am honored to have the pleasure of announcing and celebrating two of our outstanding staff members at West Middle. First, I would like to recognize our Special Education Teacher of the Year, Ms. Sarah Henderson. She embodies what West Middle represents, a team player who is not afraid to strive for excellence and encourage others who are also looking to grow. She is knowledgeable and hardworking with an outstanding attitude that spreads joy and light to all students, parents, and other teachers. Most importantly, Ms. Henderson cares deeply about her students and is not satisfied until all of their needs are met. She partners with others to ensure every one of her students has exactly what he or she needs to continue to grow and be successful, even if that means dancing in the hallway with a karaoke microphone. I want to congratulate her on behalf of her administration, colleagues, and students. Secondly, I would like to recognize our Classified Staff of the Year. Ms. Judy Hines is a paraprofessional at West Middle who works extensively with our teachers and our students. She spends most of her time in our science classrooms. With a doctorate in microbiology, it seemed silly to put her anywhere else. On any given day, you can find Ms. Hines in team meetings, helping to plan lessons, sitting with individual students to help him or her master science concepts, and lately she's been providing individual virtual tutoring for our students on any and all NTI work. She truly is an asset to our building. Thank you, Ms. Hines, for your work and dedication to West Middle. I cannot think of more deserving candidates for these recognitions. And now, Ms. Stephanie Wallace, West Middle's Instructional Coach, will announce our Certified Teacher of the Year. Hi, I'm Stephanie Wallace, the Instructional Coach at West Jessamine Middle School, and I have the singular honor of introducing the 2019-2020 Teacher of the Year, Mr. Craig Souders. He is an eighth grade science teacher at our school and he is truly a phenomenal educator. His colleagues appreciate his team spirit, his willingness to collaborate, his brilliant ideas, and the way he always brings humor and fun to every situation. His students adore him because he lets them take responsibility in the classroom, treats them as if they all matter, and shows every day how much he cares about them including doing amazing things like letting his students talk him into doing a meme review at the end of a unit. Mr. Souders always makes learning enjoyable for his students and knows how to connect with his students as individuals. Thank you so much, Mr. Souders, for being our Certified Teacher of the Year at West Middle this year. Congratulations. It really is a huge honor to have won the WJMS Teacher of the Year Award this year. Uh, I was so surprised when Albertson called my name at the faculty meeting. I was not expecting it, um, but I'm very grateful for everyone here at West Middle, both past and present, team leaders, administrators, uh, other teachers here in the building who have poured into me and helped me to develop into the teacher that I am today. Thank you to my grade level teaching partners and my eighth grade team. There's no way uh, that any of us could do this job alone, so I'm so thankful for everything that you do every day uh, and what you do with our kids that are here. And to the students, thank you all so much. You guys make it easy to come in and be excited about what we're doing. Uh, and I'm so grateful to have won this award uh, and to have this accomplishment. Thank you so much. Congratulations, eighth graders. Every year, our teachers choose two students from their classes to recognize for high academic achievement. These students don't not only have high academics, but they also show great cult characters, such as respect, connectedness, and responsibility. So with no further ado, the students recognized for high academics for English language arts are 
Nadia King, Madeline Fairchild, Roba Tackett, Sadie Young, Isabel Police, and Brooke Baldwin. Those recognized for math are Katie Slethinger, Bryant Briar Jones, Esther Kratzer, Jaylee Etherington, Aiden Mitchell, Campbell Need, Latrell Mason, Heather Gann, Riley Snowden, and Harry Hoover. Those recognized for high academic achievements in science are Kirsten Stryker, Jake Barker, Matthew Wilson, Madeline Fairchild, Anna Bridges, and Avery Stewart. Those recognized for social studies are Matthew Wilson, Zeke Miller, Catherine Antonio, Andrew Stombaugh, Aiden Halen, and Caleb Brown. Congratulations to the academic award winners this year, and I hope everyone has a fantastic summer, and I look forward to hearing all of the great things that go on um, for you at high school, and I hope you stay in touch. Continuing with the awards, I would first like to recognize those students who had perfect attendance this year. This year's Perfect Attendance Award winners are Jacob Barker, Vinay Harazing, Tyler Jones, Nadia King, Shakeda Lewis, Isaac Maynard, Michaela McBee, Samuel Montgomery, Kaylee Morton, Kenneth Proctor, Andrew Stoneball, Shayla Takachi, and Sarah Workman. Congratulations on perfect attendance. The next award we would like to give out is for citizenship. The citizenship award is for students who have consistently displayed outstanding cult character. They have been connected, respectful, and responsible every day at West Middle. This year's citizenship award winners are Brooke Beasley, Aiden Mitchell, Matthew Wilson, Jacob Schaefer, Shakeda Lewis, and Ben Wilson. Congratulations to these awesome Citizenship Award winners. Lastly, we would like to recognize two students who received a unique honor this year. Reagan Carr and Tally Price were given the accolades of Rogers Explorer this year. This is a highly selective award given to students based on their ability to be creative thinkers and futuristic problem solvers. We are so lucky to have both of these young ladies in our building and are sad to see them leave us and go to West High next year but we wanted to make sure that we gave a huge congratulations to our 2020 Rogers Explorers, Tally Price and Reagan Carr. Congratulations. Hello. We know that students who are engaged and involved in some type of extracurricular activity typically performs better in school. West Middle and Jessamine County takes that responsibility of providing extracurricular activities very seriously. And our students are blessed to have a number of opportunities for them to participate in. Earlier this month, our district hosted a separate ceremony for the Art Star Awards, which recognized students for their incredible artistic talents. We want to take a moment to acknowledge those award recipients in front of their peers and each of our guests tonight. In the category of Drama, Kirsten Stryker. In the category of Chorus, Cooper Bartlett, in the category of Art, Keith White, and in the category of Band, Cody White. Thank you all for your contributions and to your incredible talents. Another important component of extracurricular activities is athletics. This year, each of our coaches nominated a Student Athlete of the Year to represent their team. The criteria for selection includes on and off the field leadership, athletic ability, and commitment to academic success. Will the following students please be recognized? Brooke Beasley, Chloe Bliffin, Campbell Brown, Hannah Callahan, Bryce Chestnut, Mason Clark, Haley Corman, Parker Gray, Ethan Little, Morgan Dowell, Isaac Hopkins, Nate Stratton, Nate Floyd, and Esther Kratzer.
West Middle's Female Student Athlete of the Year is Esther Kratzer. West Middle's Male Student Athlete of the Year is Campbell Brown. Middle school is less than a month away from fading away from us, and we are all preparing to step into the last required school we will be attending. We came into the school closed-minded about the people who we would meet outside of the elementary school we had already attended, and we definitely did not know as much about finding theme, solving for X, the U.S. Constitution, and biodiversity. Middle school has been a time of exploration of the unlikely friends we could make, of discovering the full potential that we could have in a classroom setting, at any given moment, and most importantly, figuring out ourselves. Just about anyone who has had middle school in their past could tell you that it was one of the weirdest points in their life. From our voices changing faster than Thanos could snap, to us experiencing noticeable mood swings, to having girlfriends and boyfriends who we break up with in the next month, to even discovering what we all really care about in our lives. When I walked into West Jasmine Middle School back in August 16th, 2017, yes, I'm very good with dates, I thought that I loved sports. I pretended to know the starting lineup of the Golden State Warriors, and I would make it an effort to watch the UK football games, just so I'd have something to talk about with the kids at school. Of course, I'm not bashing the people who do love sports, which is very many of you, but that was a lie that I was living. What I'm getting at is that once I got into seventh grade and I finally came to terms with the fact that I would rather go sing folk songs on a piano than go play basketball in my driveway, I became much happier with myself and I was able to explore theater and the arts more, which now I want to be my career. So yes, it's finally our time to join West Jesmyn High School as the class of 2024. And thanks to the students and staff that made it possible, we will hopefully join with a better understanding of school subjects, a willingness to meet new people, and most importantly, a more true and pure version of ourselves. Hello everyone. Even though I'm sad to see our eighth grade year ended short, I think we can all say that middle school isn't as terrifying as it seemed when we were fifth graders, having fears of being trapped in a locker or being trampled by an eighth grader. I would have never thought that I would be sitting here filming myself and saying goodbye to West Middle this fast. But look at what we've accomplished. We survived the day the power went out at school. I mean, how could we forget? We drove our teachers crazy that day. I also think we can all relate to surviving the countless times or we procrastinate to do our IR projects, or get home late and do your homework at 12. Or you just rushed and did it while your teacher was coming around to grade it in class. I am truly thankful for what I've been taught at West Jasmine Middle School by my teachers. But not everything I learned came from my teachers or a textbook. I learned from my peers. I was taught that friends are important and they're what make things like school easier. And being nice to others not only benefits the person you're being nice to, but it benefits you in the long run. Moving forward, I can't wait to see all of you next year. And I'm so thankful for the experience I've had at West Middle School. And I can't wait to see what's ahead for all of us. Thank you. Hello to all teachers, students, and administration from your computers, phones, and tablets. I've always wanted to speak in front of my peers, but I never expected it to be over video. We started off this journey, some happy, some not, but ready to start a new chapter of life. In sixth grade, we came from elementary schools with our friends to be split up into not only two teams, but three. We learned how to navigate class changes and the lockers that never seemed to open on the first try. We got to become independent, make new friends, and join clubs and teams to get connected to our classmates. In seventh grade, we had finally gotten a feel of what middle school was all about. We flourished under the guidance of our teachers and grew not only in knowledge, but as people and as friends. In eighth grade, we were finally the oldest class at the middle school. At this point, we had probably tried every single elective and knew the ins and outs of what life was like the past two school years. We had developed true bonds with our teachers and trusted them to guide us with wisdom and a lot of patience too. I want everyone to see these past years as memorable times when teachers challenged us to dive deeper than what we understood to get a greater understanding. Eighth grade may be over abruptly, but our class has four more years left of school together, which I hope to cherish with all of you. 
I know the situation is not what we expected for our final year of middle school, but let's take advantage of this uncertain time. West Middle has teachers that share their knowledge in and out of school through Zoom calls and Google meetings. I have some fun memories thinking about this past school year, including staying in our advisory teacher's classes due to a crazy power outage, or teaching a dance to Cotton Eye Joe to all my friends in National Junior Honor Society. Thank you to all the teachers that support us in our sporting events, musicals, clubs, and fundraising. The independence we've learned will hopefully stop all the insecurities about high school we have. Let's finish out this school year strong and be a step ahead as we walk through the doors of West Chestnut High School. I want to give thanks to all the elective teachers that helped us pursue what we loved, from singing to running laps around the track to all the in-between. This goes to all the social studies teachers who taught us to be truly patriotic about our country and our science teachers that taught us that we are all dependent on, our, on each other and our diversity is what makes us important. This goes out to all the math teachers who helped us with quadratic formulas and huge 15-sided shapes. And this also goes out to all the English teachers who gave us a first look at Shakespeare's literature and how he, even in that time period, in a fictional world, we can learn from them. From Shakespeare's The Twelfth Night, it says, some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. We achieve greatness as a school because our peers, teachers, and administration push us to challenge ourselves, which builds character. Mr. Albertson says that we are the number one students and the number one staff. And I know at first we all joked about it, but it's truly an honor to go to West Jessamine Middle School. Thank you. For the last time to my eighth graders, I remember at Middle School 101 in the gym, looking at you all sitting in the stands and thinking of this very day. Then, as you all were dismissed to your homerooms, giving each one of you a fist bump and thinking how excited I was that I got to be a part of your team over the next three years. You guys are special to me. You all have learned so much over the past three years, and frankly, these past couple of months has put much of those skills into practice. You now know that you are the ones in charge of your learning and that you are capable of persevering through great barriers. I have one last thought for you guys, and I'll do it very, very quickly. Listen to this. According to Education Week, you can take race, income, your neighborhood, and every test that you'd ever taken, good or bad, and combine them, and they are not as good of a predictor if, if you're going to graduate from high school than at your performance during your freshman year. That's right. Next year is critical, but you guys are ready. Students, it's in high school that you get to put your dreams into action, hone your skills in athletics, the arts, and in music. You get to choose from exciting electives and pathways, foster existing relationships, make new friendships, sharpen your academic skills, begin to build your academic portfolio that you can enter the military, enroll in a trade school, or apply to a competitive university. But what I know beyond a shadow of a doubt is that you guys are ready. I've seen it. You all have grown. Your teachers have seen it. You guys are smart. Your counselors have seen it. You guys have matured, and you're not even finished yet. We are with you, and that doesn't end because you all are at high school. I need you to hear this. It doesn't matter where you live, who you live with, how much money you have, or the kind of grades you had in middle school. You walk into the doors at West High next fall, and you excel in all your classes. You are ready, and I believe in you. You're the class of 2024. I think of you today, and I'm so proud of you. You have the ability, you have the foundation, you have a fantastic high school that you're enrolling into. I cannot wait to see all that this class is going to accomplish. And at this time, I'm pleased to introduce to you your next principal, Mr. Thornton. Welcome, West Jessamine High School class of 2024. Uh, you have made it through middle school, and you've done it uh, in an extraordinary way, especially over the last few weeks. And so I commend you on finishing well and finishing in a way that no one has ever had to finish at West Middle. We want to welcome you 
to West High School. And normally I'd be talking to you in person, but we know that's not possible this year, but I can't wait to see you in person in August. You're going to be entering high school at a time unlike any other for our school for a couple of reasons. First of all, you are going to be the first class to really enjoy our newly renovated building. Um, there are things that you haven't even seen yet. I know you've seen the work at the front, but there are things you haven't even seen yet in the back of the building. And it will, it will, for the most part, be completed by the time you get here in August. And so you are going to be uh, a class that comes in and, and gets the full four years of enjoying a new West High. You are also the largest class to ever enter West High, and we are excited about having you and the opportunity to serve you in this new building. Um, you are also going to be entering West High at a time like none other in the shadow of COVID-19 and what we've been doing and dealing with here recently. And I know for the adults at West High, that makes education all the more important. And we are excited to see you more than we have ever been excited to see any freshman class in the history of West High. So we hope that you're excited to come be with us um, considering what we've all been through and uh, a new appreciation for the education that we get. Um, with oh, the next four years are going to fly by. They really are. And I know you don't believe it. It's going to seem like it goes uh, very slowly at times, but it will go very quickly. And so I want to encourage you to embrace what you're going to uh, encounter. There'll be challenges. There'll be a lot of great times, but there will be challenges. And I encourage you to use those challenges to grow. Um, lean on the people that are important to you, your family and your friends and your teachers and your educators, but know that uh, we're going to be here to help you over the next four years as well. With that increased uh, freedom that you're going to have is going to come increased responsibility and you're going to hear us talk a lot about what it means to be Colts. And that means we have character and ownership and we show leadership and teamwork and success every day. And if you take nothing else away from West High over the next four years, I hope you take that. And so we're going to talk repeatedly about that. So know that that's on the radar. And um, I, I think it's important that before I wrap up, I want to make sure I thank your parents and your families because getting through middle school is no easy task and you haven't done it alone. And so thank them and I want to thank them as well. We are excited to see you here. I cannot stress that enough. Um, again, you will be the first class to enter uh, this building after a long time without having students. Probably the longest that's ever been without having students here. So congratulations to making it through middle school. We look forward to seeing you in August and welcoming the class of 2024 to West High Colts. Go Colts. Hey guys, we made it to the end of your eighth grade year. From football Fridays and lab rats, sign up ball and fun class discussions, I miss seeing each of you in class and I miss seeing you in the hallways. It was really just uh, wild to think back to August uh, as we started out the year, how excited you guys were uh, to finally be uh, the big dog on campus and eighth graders and everything we were looking forward to. And things changed as we uh, went into extended learning our long period of NTI. Um, so glad that I had the opportunity to get to know each of you this school year. It's been an honor to watch you grow over the past three years. I had you as sixth graders coming in and I'm watching you leave as eighth graders and I'm so proud. And personally, I have so enjoyed getting to know you and getting to work with you. You guys were a dream come true uh, as a group of students this year and I mean that when I say it. You guys were amazing. You're so smart, so bright, so respectful, so kind. Like you're everything I could have asked for. Um, you all have brought a lot of joy and light and laughter to my classroom and a lot of funny stories. We're so sorry about how the school year ended. Things like this only come along once in a generation. Hopefully, the stories you'll be able to tell in the future should be amazing. Here, as it has been a very strange ending, but you guys have taken it all in stride and I'm super proud of each and every one of you. The resilience and flexibility you guys learned over this time will not only serve you in high school, but wherever it takes you beyond that. Um, it has been a pleasure teaching you this year, and I have learned so much from each and every one of you. I hope you have learned from me as well. High school is an exciting time, so work hard, be all you can be, and above all, be safe. Good luck with everything. Keep your chin up, believe in yourself. 
Be good. Have a good summer. And always remember you're positive. I want to wish you the best as you move on to high school. And I look forward to hearing about all the great memories that you're getting ready to make. You all are awesome. And you're going to do really big things. And we're going to miss you so much. Um, I wish you the best um, in high school as you move forward. Good luck. And I can't wait to see what else you guys are going to accomplish. Uh, please come back and say hi so we can get a final farewell and hug. We hope the best for you. We wish the best for you. Go forward, change the world, do great things. It has been unreal. It's been fun. And it has been one for the ages. Good luck, class of 2024. Feels like time is going faster than it seems. We were just two kids who were trying to live the teenage dream. We could see no reason but we should ever try to go to sleep. forever you taught me how to love and nothing could be better than you and me you and me baby it was you and me we can never fall but nobody could break us here i thought we had it all take me back to when it was you and me you and me baby it was you and me